Hi, this is Carlos Cousins, and we're now going to be looking at a math problem that incorporates aspects of uh, right triangles and graphing on an xy coordinate plane. Um, so we're going to try to look at both of those aspects and how they uh, apply to this problem. So in the figure above, the lengths of triangle M and P are parallel to the axes. So we know that MP is parallel to the x-axis, and NP is parallel to the y-axis, so that's important information. Um, we're asked which of the following could be the lengths of the sides of the triangle. So uh, things that we know about the sides of the triangle of right triangles is um, that we can know important information about them by looking at the formulas of right triangles that were given for this exam. Because we don't know anything about these angles here, uh, MNP and, and MP, we can't know for certain that they're either uh, that this is either a 45, 45, 90 or a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So we're left with the Pythagorean theorem which, uh, in case you don't know, is a squared plus b squared equals c squared, where um, a is the side of one of the legs of a triangle, b is the side of another of the legs, and c is the hypotenuse, this last part here that is longer than either leg for every right triangle. Um, <clears throat> so we can see if these answers satisfy the Pythagorean theorem, first of all, and we should also see that um, because the hypotenuse here is on the same line as um, this line here with 0.68 that also has a point at uh, 0, 0 uh, they have to have the same slope so what we're going to be looking at is the slope formula from the slope intercept so m equals rise over run or maybe you've seen it as y over x and we're going to be solving uh, for what this value is. So for this problem, we are given two points on the graph, so this is really easy. We know the x value or the run value is 6, and we know the y value or the rise value is 8, So uh, which is equal if you divide both of these by 2 to 4 over 3, or 1.3 repeating, right? 1 and a third. And um, now we have to check that these <coughs> solutions satisfy both the Pythagorean theorem and have the slope. So let's check for the first one. The first one here um, is 3, 4, and 5. 5 is a larger number, so that's a hypotenuse, and we can plug 3 and 4 for the legs. So 3 squared, I'm just going to go ahead and write 9. Uh, I'm sorry about that. 9 plus 4 squared, 16, should equal 5 squared, which is 25. Is this true? 9 plus 16 is indeed 25, so this one checks out for the Pythagorean theorem. Now, for the slope. Um, <clears throat> the rise of a run, we're not told which leg this is, so this could potentially be three-fourths, but it could also be four-thirds. And since we are asked which could be the lengths of the sides of the triangle, this is a possibility. Um, so this is actually the answer, but we're going to go ahead and check out the rest of them to show you why these don't work. Uh, for the Pythagorean theorem here, we just solved the Pythagorean theorem for uh, 3, 4, and it should equal 25, and 7 squared is not 25, right? It's 49, so that's, that can't be an option. For the Pythagorean here, uh, this is one of our special triangles. We know it works. 1 squared plus 1 squared is 1 plus 1, and squared of 2 squared is 2, and 1 plus 1 does equal 2, so this satisfies the Pythagorean theorem, but it doesn't satisfy the slope in that, you know, both of the side lengths are 1, so whether... <coughs> Uh, regardless of which side is which, the slope is going to be 1, and the slope here is 1 and a third. So this is too small. This isn't the right slope. Uh, for the next option, we've got uh, 2, 4, and 2 squared of 5. Let's start the Pythagorean theorem here. We've got uh, 5 times, uh, sorry, this would be 5 times 4, which is 20. Here we'd have 4 plus 16. This is also 20, so that satisfies the Pythagorean theorem. But then the slope, we'd have sides 2, 4. This could either be um, 4 over 2, so 2, or 2 over 4, 1 half, and we've got 4 over 3, so this doesn't satisfy the slope either. Um, and then for this last one, we've got, what is that, 4 times 13. 2 times 13 is 26, 26 times 2, uh, yeah, that's 52. So then we've got 16 plus 36. Does that equal? Yes, that equals 52. So this satisfies the Pythagorean theorem, but then the slope wouldn't work out because you'd have 4 over 6 or 6 over 4 instead of 4 over 3. Uh, good luck with this one.